In this video, you will learn all necessary skills that you really need for improving your swimming. You will be able to swim with correct technique and come up with your training process. Welcome to the channel! In the series of swimming lessons, you have built a foundation that is crucial for your swimming and technique improvements. In this video, you learn to swim the different styles. Once you master the correct techniques of swimming, everything else becomes much easier. With a good basic understanding of the techniques, you should be able to swim for longer distances. In swimming, there is no fast track to become a better swimmer. However, there are swimming drills and tips to facilitate your technique. By doing all these steps consistently, you'll be able to swim freestyle at the same level as I do. You need to save some energy to set up your technique, and then you'll surely get better. Most people don't like working on technique because it is difficult and takes time. It is also hard to evaluate whether the technique is improving or not. This is much easier with intensive training. During an intensive workout, we can judge how well we did by our energy level. Unfortunately, tiredness after the training session doesn't necessarily mean the positive output. For many swimmers, it is much more interesting to swim hard, intensive training sessions with different swimming speeds. At these sessions, you can compare the results and see whether you have the progress. Obviously, these training sessions are much more interesting than focusing on technique. However, by improving your swimming technique, you can swim much faster and much easier. It is crucial to include different training sessions into the training plan. We need to invest in technique, endurance and speed. Let me know in the comments what type of training sessions do you usually swim? Intensive, endurance or technique trainings? While swimming, it is almost impossible to focus on many technical elements at the same time. You need to choose the main element that you need to improve and focus all your attention on that one specific element. Technique training process is similar to construction of a house. We cannot build a roof if you don't have foundation and walls. The same applies to freestyle swimming. We cannot learn how to glide and to rotate the body if we are not relaxed in the water. This is why I have made these swimming lessons, so that each of you can learn essential swimming skills. Check my videos, I'm sure in every video you'll find interesting things to help you become a better swimmer. Each swimmer wants to swim freestyle, fast, easy and aesthetically correctly. In the beginning of the learning process, swimmers don't have enough patience to set up technical elements step by step. Many swimmers immediately start swimming freestyle. In many cases they don't succeed, because they lack of basic swimming skills that we have learned in the previous swimming lessons. By performing tense and incorrect movements, swimming gets increasingly harder. Also, the swimmer gets used to these movements and later it will be harder to reteach the correct movements. If you want to learn freestyle quickly and easily, you need to have the basic swimming skills. The same as in primary school. First, you learn the basics in order to achieve high results in high school. Correct freestyle swimming is when the swimmer is relaxed, located in horizontal position and performing correct kicks and arm strokes. It is easy to learn all of this. The main point is to do it step by step. In the previous lesson, you have learned to perform correct kicks in horizontal position. Now we will learn how to take a breath while kicking. When you were doing kicks next to the wall, your hands were on the wall. During that drill, you were taking a breath and your hands were supported by the wall. However, when you are swimming kicks, your hands don't have the support because your hands are stretched forwards in the water. To keep horizontal position, you need to raise the head up and at the same time 
perform a small arm stroke to get the support. In the beginning of the learning process, you can do wide arm stroke, but try not to let your hands go downwards. Many swimmers are able to kick while using a kickboard. However, without it, hands drop down and your speed decreases. The main reason why this happens is while using a kickboard, the hands are always tensed and swimmer presses too much to get the support. Therefore, your hands will fall down because they are tense and don't have the support of a kickboard. When kicking with a kickboard, don't push the kickboard, try to keep the hands relaxed. While kicking with a kickboard or without it, take a deep breath, put your head into the water and kick for some meters while holding your breath. Once your kicking technique is set up, you can move on to freestyle swimming. First, we'll practice correct body position. In my previous videos, you have seen the mistake of when the pelvis and the legs are positioned too low. This swimming drill will help you avoid it. Take a deep breath and kick off the wall. Put your hands next to your legs and keep a horizontal position in the water while performing correct kicks. In this drill, we practice body position. This is why we don't take a breath. I will teach you how to breathe to the side in an upcoming video. Freestyle videos are coming soon. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to watch them first. In a minute, I will show you the best swimming drill for freestyle. However, before we do that, let's take a look at an important step in swimming. Many swimmers want to learn to swim. They tend to choose the fastest stroke, freestyle. However, they don't have essential swimming skills for freestyle swimming. Breathing is one of the hardest technical elements in freestyle. It is a mistake when swimmers raise their head up to breathe in. By doing this, your muscles become used to incorrect movements, and later it will be really hard to get rid of these incorrect motions. It is important to learn to swim correctly from the beginning of your learning process. First, learn to swim on the back, and then start learning to swim freestyle. While on the back, you don't need to perform any movements for breathing. Your face will be in comfortable position out of the water. In the first drill, we need to kick off the wall and start performing kicks. Try to keep a horizontal position in the water. While on your back, perform exactly the same kicks as you were doing on the chest. Hands are stretched forwards and knees should not appear on the surface. Before you start to swim freestyle, it is necessary to learn how to swim backstroke while performing an upstroke by two hands simultaneously. I'm sure each of you will be able to swim this drill easily. It will help you feel a correct horizontal position and you'll gain confidence in the water. You need to take a breath while performing an upstroke. At this moment, your body position will be high on the water. Therefore, there is lower risk that water will get into the mouth. When you have practiced all the previous drills, you can start practicing freestyle. The best drill to practice arm soak in freestyle is catch-up drill. You need to perform a right hand arm soak and left hand arm soak. One hand is performing an arm soak and another hand is stretching forwards. Remember to keep horizontal position and perform correct kicks. Do you remember what does it mean to perform an arm soak with high elbow? If not, check out my video about freestyle arm soak. If you remember, focus on the arm soak to perform it with high elbow. While swimming this drill, it is important to perform accurate movements and don't try to hurry. Soon I will make freestyle swimming lessons, where you will set up your best possible technique by practicing dryland exercises and swimming drills that I will show you. Subscribe to the channel not to miss it. While swimming backstroke, Often, pelvis and legs get too low. This mistake can be often seen in freestyle. Swimming gets hot and speed slows down. The main reason why this happens 
is because of the high position of the head and upper body, which make your legs become lower in the water. Remember, your body and your legs should be at the same level in order to keep the least possible water resistance. Actually, it is quite easy to get rid of this mistake. You need to throw your head a little back to get in horizontal position. If your current head position is high, you need to throw it more than actually it gets in horizontal position. By doing this, your legs and pelvis will rise up automatically. Breaststroke technique is hard, however, it is much easier to set up on the back. When swimming breaststroke on the chest, there are many difficult elements – the arm soak, the rise of the back, the kicks and the arm recovery. But while on your back, you need to perform only arm soaks and kicks. In the beginning, you should start swimming only breaststroke kicks. It is easy to understand and to feel how to lift the legs up. Your feet should lift to the pelvis to touch it, when thighs should be in horizontal position and knees should not appear on the surface. When legs are lifted up, you need to turn the feet to catch the water and perform the kick. Next, we'll learn to swim breaststroke on the back. Arm strokes should be done with two hands simultaneously, as we were doing in the backstroke drill. Kicks are done as in the previous drill. Breaststroke swimming on the back will help you to practice timing for the movements. First, you perform an arm soak. Then you need to recover arms and lift the legs to the pelvis. Once legs are lifted up, you should perform the kick. In the end of the stroke, you need to glide forwards. Breaststroke on the back is simple and each of you can perform it. Now let's repeat all important steps in order to gain basic swimming skills. First, we need to learn how to be relaxed in the water. We need to get rid of subconscious tensions by doing swimming drills from my videos. After this, you will feel comfortable in the water. The next step is to learn how to breathe in the water. We need to take a deep breath and continuously breathe the air out through the nose. By performing breathing exercises, it will be easy for you to breathe in the water. Then we need to learn to perform kicks and get correct body position in the water. By performing correct kicks, your position will be high. Kicking swimming drills will help you to set up efficient technique. You will be able to swim fast and long distances. Once kicking is done, you need to learn how to perform arm strokes. First, you need to learn to swim on the back. After this, you can start practicing freestyle technique. Correct swimming doesn't require talent or special hidden skills. If you practice swimming drills that I have just shown you, you'll become a real swimmer. 